You must not harass, strike, threaten, assault, follow, stalk, molest, destroy or damage property of, disturb the peace of, keep under surveillance, or block the movements of the protected people. You must not try to or actually get their addresses or locations. You must have no personal, electronic, telephone, or written contact with any of the people listed. You must not contact them except through your lawyer, meaning you can't use a third party to gain contact with any of the people listed other than through your lawyer or someone from their defense team, including investigators. And finally, you must stay at least 100 yards away from all of them at all times, other than at court proceedings where everyone is ordered to be present. Okay? All right. You are nodding your head. Ms. Turpin, the same exact thing goes for you. You are not allowed to own any firearms. You would have to relinquish those if you did own them and you were out of custody. You must not try to keep any victim or witness from testifying, coming to court, or testifying at court, or from talking to law enforcement, or any other person um, that they want to make a report to. The protected people listed in the CPO, they can record any conversation that you have with them that would be in violation of this order. You must not harass, strike, threaten, assault, follow, stalk, molest, destroy, or damage the property of, disturb the peace of, keep under surveillance, or block the movements of those people. You must not try to or actually get their addresses or locations. You must have no personal, electronic, telephone, or written contact. You must not contact them through a third party except for your lawyer or someone from his defense team, including his investigators. You must stay at least 100 yards away from all of the listed protected people unless you are ordered to be present in court at the same time as they are. All right.